Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. If you're new around here, consider subscribing down below. If you can, click the like button and drop a comment. It does make a difference. Thank you to everyone that did like and comment the last video. You guys love that. So I'm back to show you guys uh, basically another way to change up the grind uh, for you guys to get Sawa or any real icon done uh, cheaply. What a card, by the way. Incredible. We'll talk about that in a second. Check out foottrading.co.uk if you want to get involved and support the content. You'll make millions of coins. Everything I put in these videos, I also put onto the website. Dan does all the trading stuff on there. Buying and selling prices for every single card on this game, you will make millions, like I say. Link down below to my Twitch if you want to come and watch the live streams. Um, it's a really good place to meet people. And of course, join our Discord. There's 8,000 people in there. It's incredible. But, um, Sawa, wow. What a card this is. Um... A lot of you guys yesterday were looking at the video um, with regards to how to craft packs and whatever for Team of the Year, but quite a few of you guys were asking about player SBCs, okay? So we're going to look at Sawa as our sort of sort of test thing, I guess. Um, but you can do this with any player, basically. If you guys are specifically looking for Team of the Years, then you'll follow the same method I gave you guys yesterday, okay? If you're looking to get players completed, you might want to change it up a little bit, okay? Now, the basis of what you do to get these players crafted cheaply is exactly the same method as I told you yesterday as a starting point, and that is the Mixed League upgrade, okay? So if you haven't watched yesterday's video on the Mixed League upgrade, make sure you watch that after this one, okay? But basically, every time you complete the Mixed League upgrade, you're going to get a load of untradeable golds. Now, initially, we were going to put these guys into the Premium Mixed League. It works out every three times you complete the Mixed League upgrade, you get yourself two of the premium upgrades, the premium Premier League upgrades or whatever, okay? Every time you do that, that's what you get from it, basically. However, what you need for players like Sawa, Best, whatever, is rating, okay? You need those ratings, so we're going to change it up. What you guys are going to do is you're going to use a Mixed League upgrade, and you're going to complete it as we completed it yesterday. Quick run through again. MLS, um, you want to put in the likes of Insigne, Chiellini, and Mukta. To bring the rating requirement right down use gold uh, use bronze rare sorry to get your rares up on that as well and then use silvers to bulk out the rest of it for price wise okay league two and um la liga high promotion the exact same thing except you're going to use a couple of the common golds that are 78 79 rated the rest you're going to use pretty much our bronze rares and then bronzes you might need a couple of silvers these guys again you just use the bronzes okay what it will do is this will cost you about eight or nine k if you bid on those players and get them cheap enough You'll get back about 4.5 to 5k from these. It's going to cost you 4k to do this, okay? At the end of this, you're going to get yourself pretty much enough to complete the 81 plus upgrade for free, okay? So for the basic a spend of probably 4k, you're going to get all those packs there on the Mixed League upgrade, including a small rare gold pairs pack. That's also then going to give you an 81 plus double too, okay? Which is, where is it? Just got to try and find it again. Because I haven't, I haven't got it in my favourites anymore, so I've got to try and hook through to everyone. The 81 plus double here, okay? 81 plus double upgrade, you're going to get that done. That's going to give you at least two 81 plus players every single time, okay? So you're going to keep repeating that, repeating that, repeating that. That's easy. The Mixed League, once you know what you're doing, it takes minutes to complete it. Once you basically grind into it enough, that's fine. If you have leftover commons... From when you're doing this grind, they are going to go and be put into the Winter Wildcard Crafting Upgrade for now. You've got two days on this to get them put in. I did all my comments in my club into these today, okay? There's a reason for this. I'll explain it in a second. So that's going to give you the basis of where you're going to put your players from there. Do not forget, it's important you remember that every single day you can get the Daily Gold Upgrade done four times. You can get the Daily Silver and Bronze Upgrades done for one Silver and Bronze each utilize these from your mixed uh, league upgrade so get your bronzes put into that get it's basically four gold pairs packs that are completely free what does that equal well it equals another three or four technically four winter wildcard crafting upgrades or essentially 181 plus um double and three winter wildcard upgrades whichever way you want to go and do it okay that's how you're going to grind those bits initially simple as that that's going to give you 81 plus players that's great. And then Winter Wildcard Crafting Upgrade players, they can then go into the Premium League, whichever league it is you want to do, whether it's the Premier League, whether it's La Liga, those Winter Wildcard Crafting Upgrade cards can go into those upgrades, okay? So you can try and still pack a team of the year if you if you really want to pack a team of the year. 
you can get an extra bit of grind going from getting those bits into that, okay? Same as if the Winter Wildcard Crafting Upgrade goes, you can use your Daily Gold Upgrade to throw them into those ones as well. It's not a problem. But what you need to do is think about where you're going to target your 81 plus players. Now, obviously, first thing you may need to think about realistically is getting a team of the week crafted. But again, they're relatively easy to pack now. I think the weight on them is a lot higher than they were before. So what I would personally be doing is prioritizing the 84 plus times 5. I know it's a unpopular opinion. Most people prefer the 83 times 10 and it is technically a better SBC. The reason why I like this is Sawa has an 89 rated squad. All of the best um, SBCs at the moment do. So you do need to try and pack some higher rated stuff realistically. And it's only an 82 rated squad overall. It's a lot easier to craft an 84 times 5 than it necessarily is to craft an 83 times 10. Either one does work though. And the thing with the 83 times 10s is you're probably more likely to get yourself a team of the year because you're not cutting out the rating of the 83s. So if you're low on team of the weeks, you may want to go for the 83 times 10, okay? And you're going to pump these, basically, and you're going to keep doing that over and over again to get as many of these done as possible to get fodder into your club. Now, along the way, you're going to get the stuff you need to complete Sawa, at probably at a lower level first. So these guys, these squads first, the 83s, the 86s, they're going to be relatively easy to complete. What you'll probably find, though, is you'll get a few 87s and a few 88s, and you might not end up with full squads. That's when the duplicate exchange SBCs should be used, okay? So I would be thinking, okay, cool. If I get an 88 and I've got three 88s, he'll go into the, or she will go into, the 27 player pack, okay? Now this has another reasoning for it, another reason why that's good. Go into that pack basically and you're going to get 27 players pack. And this is where it really starts to cycle and spiral. 27 players is a huge amount of players to get from a single pack, okay? When we add that and think, okay, cool, now you've got a load and load of players that are coming in, you can think about completing the premium mixed league upgrade, okay, as you do this, or well, that's not there, now I need to get from here, the premium mixed league upgrade. And the reason why we want to complete that is multiple reasons. The first is obviously quite simple, it's going to give you more packs. So where is it? Why is it so far away? There's so much to do in this game, trying to find everything is so difficult. The premium mixed league upgrade is going to give you more players that you can then, again, put back into the premium leagues um, for team of the years if you want to do it you can put it back into i'd say to avoid the minor like there's the crap pack you know the one that's got the three commons and one rare um, i'd say to avoid that realistically but you can go back into 81 plus double again if you really wanted to and there's two tradable packs here okay so if you get 27 players and you go and compete these guys you can sell what you get from these packs to then go and compete the libertadores for free okay and then again, you're going to open up Premier League League Packs so you can put those players into this. It all starts to cycle by doing it that way, okay? It all starts with that initial method we learnt yesterday. We talked about the Mixed League Upgrade method. It all starts there and it spirals from there. So let's break it down again into a basic sort of run of how I would do it, okay? Complete the Mixed League Upgrade in the way that I said to complete it earlier on, okay? Number one. Put your rares and some of the commons and whatnot into the 81 plus double. If you have leftover commons, they go into the winter wildcard crafting upgrade. Target the 84 times 5 or the 83 times 10, depending on whether you need team of the weeks. Utilize the fodder there to put those into the likes of Sawa or whatever SBC it is that you're thinking about doing. Duplicates then get put into the duplicate exchange to give you back a good chunk of players. And those players can then be used in the SBCs you've just done. Or preferably, in my opinion, back into the premium mixed league upgrade, which will get you basically another load of packs, which is really, really easy. Sell what you get from these packs, complete Libertadores and Sudamericana section, get that one done as much as possible, and you'll get Sawa done, or get any basic icon SBC you want to get done extremely cheaply. Sawa is unreal. It's a fantastic SBC priced really, really well from EA. I guarantee you could bring the cost down by half, maybe two thirds, if you craft it and grind it, all right? That's the end of the video. If you are new around here, like I say, subscribe down below. Drop a uh, comment. Drop a like. It makes a massive, massive difference. Check me out over on Twitch and check out Foot Trading. You will not regret it. You will make millions. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.